Sit Your Ass in a Down series is a collection of a few short videos to help you get into your seat as comfortably as possible, preparing yourself from whichever state you arrive on your mat uh, in preparation for your pranayama and meditation. So this is a more active flow, building some energy and building a little bit of heat and stimulation following with the settling of that energy, internalizing it to take you on the inner journey. We'll start on the hands and knees. Now four footed posture into Majjari Asana. <laughs> Here comes the dog. <laughs> this is the cat pose. So we'll raise the tail towards the ceiling, open to the chest and send the gaze forward, feeling the beautiful squeeze in the back, not overemphasizing it a good level of squeeze and feel the sensation and then tuck the tailbone under round through the spine as you dome it skyward literally here drawing the chin to the chest and pressing off the hands the knees gently through the tops of the shins and the tops of the feet equally and now with the breath inhale away from the tail open through the chest lift the gaze forward gently extend and away from the tail as you exhale rounding through the spine, doming it skyward, lastly chin to chest. Continue flowing, inhale, lifting from tail, articulating through each spine, feeling the movement and flow, exhale as you tuck, round again, feeling the pull through the back as you arch it high, continue flowing on both inhale and exhale, allowing the length of the movement to flow along the lengths of your breath. And use this as an opportunity to really get into a nice, even and full deep breath. It might not come straight away, but allow yourself to gradually build more and more into a fuller, deeper and more expansive breath rhythm. And after this round, pause, we'll bring in the tiger. So send the weight into the right knee, lightly into the shin and top of the feet. And again, anchor down through the hands. On inhale, send the left leg back and up behind. Lifting from the buttock and hip without the twist. Open the chest and gaze forward. Exhale as you draw the knee under again, round the spine, pressing off your foundations, head towards knee. Breathing in as you lengthen back first, really lengthen crown to toe and then lift, feeling the squeeze in the back. Exhale as you draw under, pressing away of hands and right knee and shin, hugging knee to chest, head to knee. Continue flowing, inhale, lengthen. Press the crown of the head and the toes away and then lift up to squeeze lightly. The opposite as you draw under, feeling the back round and stretch. Two more. Again, following the fullness of your breath to extend and lift. The fullness of your exhale to draw in and under. Release the knee when you finish that side. Prepare yourself for the other side, shifting the weight into the left knee, shin lightly into the top of the foot. And again, inhale, extend the toes back, extend the crown and then lift. Exhale as you draw under, pressing off your foundations, head to knee. Continue flowing. Keep some strength in the arms without a collapse through the chest and shoulders. Nice and steady in the arms and the back leg as you move and flow through the spine. Two more rounds. When you've finished and completed, release the knee down and we'll curl the toes under as we sit the buttocks back towards the heels. Let the hands travel a little further forward. 
keeping a nice distance between the hands and release the head down for a moment either keeping it between the upper arms or maybe it rests to the floor and take a few relaxed breaths here or just let the breath calm a little as you pause gently pressing off the hands the buttocks back over the heels and feeling a pull through the toes and the feet Now come into the mountain pose or Sumeru Asana. Grounding into the hands, grounding into the toes. Lift enough so that the knees can come a foot or so off the floor. Keep the legs generously bent. And as you ground into the rim of your palm and find your foundation there, gently press away with a soft bend in the elbows, a broadness through the shoulders, and a lift up through both sides of the spine into the hips and sit bones. Feeling that length and opening along the spine and from the wrists to the hips. Gradually extend the legs, keeping the integrity in the arms and torso until you meet yourself where you're at. Take a few breaths here just to feel into the opening effect through the back body and up through the spine. Let the head fall in between the upper arms. Seeing if you can let the neck draw long. Start to pedal the feet and feel free now to bring a bit of movement in, coming away from that structure and letting the hips twist side to side. And we'll move into a little flow from here. On the inhalation, raise the left heel back and up behind. On the exhalation, bring the knee in. Place it into pigeon or swan. On the inhalation, gently lift through the chest comfortably. You can change position of the hands. And on the exhale, swing the leg back, touching down briefly. Inhale, raise it back up behind. As you exhale, open the hip out wide, bend the knee and press back through the foot. Breathing in, extend from the wrist high into the knee. And breathing out all the way forward into your swan position. Breathing in, open through the chest, lift the gaze, change the hands, or just come up a tiny way. Exhale, as you contract the abdomen, press back, and lift the heels straight up behind. Take a breath in as you open through the pelvis, bend the knee, press the foot back. Exhale, as you realign the hips, swing forward, and place the foot down in, and leg down in front. Inhale, gently lift into your swan or pigeon. Exhale, pull the belly in, use some core and swing the leg back and up behind. Breathing in as you twist open, bend through the knee and press back, feeling the pelvis expand. Exhale as you realign and bring the leg forward to pigeon. Continue flowing, inhale as you open. Exhale, lift and press back behind. Breathing in as you open, bend the knee and press away through the foot. Flex it if you like. Exhale, realign, bring the leg forward and place down. Breathing in, expand through chest, lifting, light back bend, exhale. Engage the core, helping you go through, lifting the leg. Once more, breathing in as you open. Breathing out as you settle forward. Here we'll pause briefly. Use any supports, if it's not great on the knee, then just sit over to the side and release this way so the hip is quite lifted, absolutely fine. Where the knee and hips are happy with this position, settle into it, come onto the elbows. And it's quite nice to let the neck relax by stacking your fists and resting the forehead down. The back foot can soften. And here we'll take about five to six breaths. Feel into the area of most resistance, whether it's in the pelvis, whether it's in the back, whether it's in the leg, whether it's in the front of the opposite leg, long behind, and breathe into that space, expanding it, seeing some expansion into that area of resistance, and as you exhale, just simply allow it to soften a little more.
go for a final full deep breath in. And relaxing into any space you've created, softening a little deeper into your pose. To release, respectfully raise the head nice and gently, bring your hands down for your foundation. Press away, engage for the abdomen, and then lift the knee and press into your mountain position. Pause here, take a few steady breaths. If it feels like you want to create some movement, then go ahead and pedal through the heels and let the hips shift side to side. Go with the other side. So first raise the right leg back and up behind. Nice big breath in. Slow to start. Exhale as you come forward into pigeon. Knowing this may feel different, you may need to change your approach. Inhale as you open through the chest, gazing forward or up. And exhale as you come through, touching down lightly. Breathing in, send the leg back and up behind. As you exhale, open through the hips, bend the knee and press the foot behind. Stay there as you inhale, press from wrist up into knee high. And exhale as you come all the way through again into pigeon pose. Now to flow, inhale as you open through the chest, lifting. Exhale, arms strong, abdomen engaged as you swing back and up behind. Breathing in, open through the hips, bend the knee and press the foot behind you. Exhale as you realign the hips and bring your leg forward to pigeon, grounding down. Breathing in, extend away through the chest. Exhale as you lift back into three-legged. Inhale as you open, bend and extend gently. Exhale again as you come through. Continue flowing in this way. Inhale, pigeon lift. Exhale back to three-legged. Inhale as you open, extend front of pelvis. Exhale as you come through, grounding into pigeon. At your own pace, continue with three more. On the third one, touching down in pigeon, release the back leg. Feel free just to sit off to the side so you release any pressure on the knee. May not feel as much of a stretch, but that's all right. You can sink into it here. If the hips are able to square and the knee is happy, then extend a little deeper. And where it's available, elbows and the forearms can rest to the floor. Or again, stack the fists. So the head can rest and the back of the neck can really soften and release. Check unnecessary tension held in the upper body and just let the shoulders fall back and wide. Make any little adjustments if you need. And then again, send the breath into the area that feels like there's the most pull or resistance, whether it's in the left or right leg, hips, back, anywhere along the body as you inhale expand the breath into this area creating some space and as you exhale allow it to soften and melt and simply walk along the timeline of each breath Feeling into the body's response, both on inhale and exhale. And take a final deep breath in. Any space that's been created, soften into it with the exhalation, maybe sinking a little deeper. And now respectfully releasing after the hold of the pose. 
bring the hands down as your foundation, curl the back toes, lift and press away, engage the abdomen to re return the foot back into mountain position. Pause here briefly. Again, feel free to pedal the legs out if you need. And now we'll walk the feet up towards the hands, coming into Parahastasana. Here there's a few options to keep it gentle on the back. You can use the arms as struts and just hold yourself in this position with the arms supporting you a lot so the spine and the lower back can relax. Where it's available, bend the knees enough so the hinge comes from the pelvis, the lower back stays long and the hands can find the floor for a bit of added support. Allow the head to hang heavy. You can nod yes and no, checking it's soft. And the weight of the head drawing length into your spine and creating space between the vertebra. Seeing as the hands then palms down, let's flip them over and bring the back of the hands on the floor, releasing through the wrists. And just allowing the spine to waterfall down towards the floor with the weight of the head drawing more release and length. We'll go again for about six to seven breaths here. Inhale deeply and fully, filling the body with breath. Exhale comfortably, releasing into this position. Taking a final full and deep cycle of breath. And when you have completed, you'll come down very slowly into a balance. So you can walk the feet back a little, use the hands as your guide. Stay high up onto the toes as the buttocks descends to the heels. Take a moment to let your blood pressure balance and adjust. you feel more stable you can bring the hands back alongside as you point the knees forward and lift the shoulders over the pelvis aiming to create almost like an L shape here or a right angle you can bring the hands to rest here or at the chest and here we'll pause just allowing a steadiness to settle in amongst the wobbles allow both to happen one may be more predominant than the other, wobbly or steadiness, and just allow them to play with each other. A little dance between the two. We'll take another few steady breaths here. feeling ultra balanced you can challenge it a little by gazing at the nose tip mm -hmm. on your next inhale raise the arms overhead extending exhale the arms wide and bring them behind to find your seat on the floor we'll finish with a spinal twist so this is where you may like to adjust your pelvic positioning so that if you're slouching back a little bit to roll the hips forward with a, where you may not have the flexibility right now, use a cushion and sit up on it so that you can get that nice steadiness through the pelvis and some support underneath. Here we'll move into a twist. So we'll raise the arms again skyward on the inhalation, lifting long through both sides of the torso. Think of the side bodies lifting tall, so the front and the back like pillars are also equal. Equal and lift and extension upwards. Front and back body, side to side. One full pillar lifting tall through the torso. Turn towards one side, whichever side you choose. Keep the arms lifted and the shoulders falling soft. Arms can go wider, elbows can bend. Let's feel into the chest twisting through the thoracic spine, the chest and the rib cage. The seat staying steady, the legs staying soft. And now we'll bring 
the front hand down across the body to find the knee or maybe the inside of the same knee that can actually bring a bit more ease and the other hand to just find the floor behind to use as a strut for your spine keeping the lift and lean no forcing into the twist just a nice gentle rotation encouraging the length and lift more so than the squeeze or the rotation initially and find your breath here we'll center the breath down in the abdominal space it's creating a center and a grounding down feeling the breath expand into the belly and release from here Final deep breath in, and as you exhale, deepen a little more. To release, first turn the head on inhalation, and let the body follow as you breathe out. Keeping the legs crossed in this position, scoot the feet forward a little bit, so that the knees and the feet almost line up with one another. You're not trying to pull them in underneath, but bring the legs out almost creating a diamond shape, uh, a triangular shape here. And then we can come forward. The cushion can stay there or be removed. That really depends on you. Then we bring the hands and just come forward, gently extending. Depending where your body's at, you may come down to the elbows. You may be um, lifting up a little higher. You may feel a pull in through the outer hip. This is great. If it's too strong on the ankles, put some blanket underneath. go for another three or four full deep breaths so inhale fully and deeply maybe sending the breath down into the pelvic area into your seat and exhale just let the seat your foundation your base soften from the feet right up into the hips on the last exhale maybe melt a little more into the position no forcing, just softening into the space that's been created. And then walking the hands back up. Lifting the spine to upright and recrossing the legs the other way for the other side of our twist. That may feel odd, you may need to adjust your seat. So on inhale, again raise the arms over here. Keeping the arms skyward, soften the shoulders and rotate through the rib cage and the chest. Notice any difference on the side? and use the breath to gently extend with every exhalation. And then really creating a lift from the crown upward to feel a pull and length or ascension through your whole spine. And now we'll bring front hand across the opposite knee. Well, for some of us, and for some days, it actually feels nice to have it just against the inner same leg. And the other hand is behind not to pull deeper but just to simply create a strut with support for the length of your spine. The neck and head can turn gently. And again allow your breath to anchor into the abdominal space. Relax down through your seat into the pull of gravity. Take a last full deep breath in, feel a lift and ascension, equally grounded through the sit bones and exhale, gently rotate. Use an inhalation for the head to return, back to centre and exhale for the body to follow. Into our forward fold from here now with the legs on the other side, shift the feet a little further forward and it could feel extremely different, it usually does, <laughs> one side to the other. 
And again, just aim to align the knees and the heels and aim to have almost like logs together with the um, lower legs. Lift up through the spine, adjust the cushion behind if you need, maybe you don't need it. And then just hinge forward from the hips till you feel a nice pull with the outer seam of the legs and maybe around the hip space. Maybe across the lower back gently, no force into this at all. Just feeling where your body comes to its natural place of resistance and stay there and send your breath into that area. The arms are again there to aid the support, maybe using the hands like straps to hold yourself in space. And as your seat begins to soften, into the shape or form or fold, then you can release the arms and sink a little deeper. There's no expectation. Let go of all expectation and just feel into the body's messages, wisdom, and use your breath to connect here. Take a final full inhalation. Use the last exhale to soften or melt a little deeper. And then use the hands to help create the lift back up through the spine. Enjoy the rest of the journey with pranayama and your meditation or just that time, beautiful time with yourself. Hari Om Tat Sat.